what I'm going to try and uh, show this uh, Motorola Micom 2 RS. First I turn it on. It's uh, right now connected to the antenna. It goes to its self-test. And of course you can listen to the speakers here or through the headphones connected to the second connector. If you listen to the headphones you can turn off the speaker like so. Anyway, we put the speaker on. This is 14.292. Now, if you go to the different menus, you can go to this little arrow here and change the rate at which you change the frequency. And then you can go up and down. I put it on one kilohertz so I can go up. Here's Here's 300, 14300. So if you're looking for a station, uh, let's say on 20 meters like here, you just press the up and down button at 1 kilohertz. And here is some, here's something at 14262. Uh, Victor Echo 7, Oscar India for a uh, radio check. Nothing there. Let's see if I can reach somebody else. Now while we're waiting, you can go to DSP and you have different parameter, noise blanker, clip, on, clarifier, and then you have the um, DSP where you can change, in case you have noise, the DSP works like that. Uh, you can put the squelch on. Uh, break break, this is Victor Echo 7, Oscar India for a radio check. This is Victor Echo 7, Oscar India for a radio check, over. Yeah, thank you for coming back to me. Just um, doing a video, just a, a radio check here. Uh, this is VE7OI, Oscar India. I'll copy over. Uh, 
Oh, okay, and uh, my audio is good, and uh, I hope. And uh, what's your QTH? Over. Okay, thank you. Then that's all I need for the moment. I'm located on Vancouver Island and uh, you're 5 and 9. Very good uh, signal right here. So thank you and uh, I'll uh, continue with my little video here. I needed a, a signal report. Uh, carry on. V70I clear. 7 John Claude. Sure, So now what we just did from Vancouver Island, a QSO to Georgia, of course I'm using a tri-bander. Now to show uh, if you wanted to go to another band, all you'd have to do is uh, punch it in, uh, let's say 3, 7, 2, 9, enter, uh, 3, 7, 2, 9, enter, and now you're on 80 meters. Of course you have to change the band, go to LSB, and there you go. Or we could go to 18, 1, 2, 5. There we go. And then we just use the up and down button to scan the band if you're not doing um, a fixed frequency check. So that uh, that's uh, just to show that the radio is working fine. Now what I will do is um, turn off the radio. and uh, connect a uh, dummy load on it there we go and let's see it goes through a self-test now it's at 18150 it's on the dummy load if I I'm on SSB still uh, band upper USB if we look at the watt meter over a hundred watts and we have here a power button we can we're on max we have four four uh, ranges low medium high or max max is 125 watts high is about 100 watts medium about 60. let's put it on medium and see what we get enter about 60 watts on the watt meter so that's how you uh, can choose your power and the uh, the uh, low button would put you about 20 watts. Uh, that's our escape. Uh, what else can I show you? A AGC is fast. You can have um, slow, fast, or off. Uh, let's go back to 14200. Um, now what we could do, since we have it on the dummy load, we could do a self-test of the radio. We go to BIT, B -I -T, and we say full test. Are we connected to a dummy load? Yes. And now it's testing the radio. It takes um, about a minute or so. It goes through the various bands and filters. As it's go doing so, you can see the uh, power coming out. It's testing each band for power. You can see that on my watt meter here. And at the end it will uh, give you a um, result whether it's uh, passed or not. The radio is uh, somewhat waterproof, all metal. Uh, these uh, radios were built for uh, for commercial application uh, in the army as well, the, everything is uh, solid. The 2RS has not a plastic face like the 2E. Bites in test. It went through the various bands and filters, and now it says full pass. You can check for. You can do a test first just for that channel. You press channel, connected load yes, and it'll test whatever band you're on, which is in this case 20 meter by channel pass and then there's the low RF test so there's three tests you can do once you're connected to a, a dummy load it's testing the low RF which is the, the upper board in this radio they call it the Lord board and it passed so we clear 
frequency. Oh, now I can show ALE. Uh, if you go to ALE, you can go to net 1, net 2, 1, 2, or so on, whatever net you've programmed into the radio. You can program the radio either from the front panel, but it's somewhat um, long and more difficult. So, um, we'll go back to, uh, whoops, I didn't press ALE. Escape. Anyway, ALE. Anyway, I've got net one, I'll press enter. And now it's in ALE mode, and it's scanning the various frequency which I programmed using the computer and an RS-232 cable which plugs into the back. So it's uh, scanning through the different channels. You can uh, do a sounding every so often if you know about ALE. Uh, I've, I've used that radio to go on HF link and uh, had a good uh, report. I, I used the um, auto tuner with it to so it would tune on the various bands sending its sounding. The sounding is here. It's it. LQ it's link quantity and link quality analysis and if you say sound and you say on it will then sound on the various frequencies that uh, I've got programmed in there enter it's sounding you see it's it's now uh, sending about uh, 60 watts uh, no 80 watts I think I'm not on the full power I and then it switch frequency it goes to another frequency channel 9 all these channels program are in a different in a different uh, channel mode like you can uh, put in about 200 frequency in that radio all again using the computer and the program which i will supply with the radio yeah, i'll stop the sounding going back to frequency enter and there you are. You can also uh, go split frequency with this radio. You just go like this. And frequency, simplex, duplex. So you can, you have a way to go split frequency. So I think I've done enough for now. I will uh, take some pictures of the radio. More. Rock program. Dim them. Dim the. Dim the. Um, can dim. Dim level 2, you can dim the, the screen, uh, CD screen, lock, program. When you program the radio, like this, you can program the different parameters of the radio, like a beep on transmit and things like this. You can program the options, An option would be the accessories, and accessories could be an amplifier or a tuner. Uh, when I use a tuner with this radio, I use a tuner F2265A, I put tune on and every time I change frequency it just retunes the radio and the tuner uh, just is in line with the coax there's no need for a control cable so we go escape to all that frequency we're back on the frequency I had set before so I, I hope I showed uh, briefly what this radio is all about uh, I like them because they're fairly simple to use they're certainly reliable and uh, I use them uh, for Pactor. I connect to the back connector, which is a 44 pin connector. I connect a Pactor modem, and then I can use the radio f uh, for uh, doing uh, Winlink emails. I've never tried to do, uh, well, I did, I, I've done RTTI, uh, but I've never tried other digital mode, but it's uh, all possible to connect in the back, making cables to uh, adapt to your modem or TNCs. So that's, uh, that's about it, I'll uh, shut the radio, this noise is a bit loud.